We were talking about the Sound of Freedom movie. Yeah. What, yeah. what did you think of that? We were supposed to go together last night, but I was so yeah. happy, and forgive me, but I'm going to repeat it for our listeners. Yeah. It was all sold out. Yeah. I'm like, what about the next showing? Sold out. Sold unless you out. want to sit in the On front row. On a Monday row. night. Yeah, and then tonight, sold out. Yeah. Unless you want to go to like 11 p.m. showing. Yeah. Like, I want to go tonight, but I'm pretty sure it's sold out. Yeah, you're going to have to like book it a week in advance or something. Yeah, it was really it was really good. We talked a lot about it this morning because um, Ben does make a lot of films dealing with sex, with sex trafficking. Does he? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, what was his take on it? He thought it was really good. Yeah. yeah. Um, he... Th- he thought like, you know, we had a conversation about the filmmaking aspects of it and yeah. he felt like, oh, I have the same criticisms of it that I would have with any other film, right? And yeah. he, but he's like an insider. He knows what he's looking at. Um, but he felt like this is absolutely something that needs to be talked about. And the the reception that it's getting, the negative reception that it's getting is shameful. Why? Because people that are downplaying the trafficking of trafficking of children as a problem. Are they downplaying it or are they, or, or attributing it to conspiracy theories or whatever. It's like, I'm sorry if you're dismissing it, then you're part of the problem. Yeah. If you're trying to sweep this under the rug, like what's wrong with you? Cause this is happening. Yeah. If you don't, (laughs) even if you have criticisms, if you don't lead with a seriously sympathetic foot. Yes. Like if your first thing is just to pull it apart, Right. As opposed to, of course, this is happening. My God, thank God, someone's like, beginning to address it. Yeah. And yet I have these criticisms. Fine. Of, Critique it on its merits. Yeah. It's it's the same thing with, you know, books or art of any kind. It's like, critique it on its merits. Don't make ad hominem attacks about the people who are creating it. Like, what is the problem it's trying to address? Take um, it for that. I want to see, you know? what's, how's it doing? I want to see how it's doing. Weren't they trying to get like, Two million. Let's see. This came out 15 hours ago. Sound of Freedom earns 40 million at the box office. Mm. An independent dramatic thriller, yada, 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 has made 40 million since the 4th of July, right behind Insidious, The Red Door, and Indiana Jones. But it was above those. It's crowdfunded. Yeah. I think on the, I don't know if it was ever above it, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. I think the first day it brought in more okay. than Indiana Jones. Is that right? Relative to budget. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. Relative to budget and given the fact that it's not in nearly as many yeah, theaters. Yeah, if you adjusted yeah. for the budget of the movie and the number of theaters showing it, it like doubled Indiana Jones on that, like those adjustments. Yeah. Not straight. I think it was like four, maybe almost is it, I'm try, I see the numbers in my head. Like I can see the shape of the numbers. I can't remember what the, sh- the numbers actually are because mm. I was looking at the chart the other day. It made, it made like is, 50% less maybe of Indiana Jones, but if you adjusted for the budget of the movie and how many theaters right. that Indy was in, yeah. Mm. Um, Angels, like speak of a cringy name, like Angel Studios. I think of that. I just think that sounds whatever. It sounds yeah. on the two on the nose. Right. However, they're doing this stuff. Well, look. It says, look at this. His only son. I haven't seen that. I've seen the trailer for that. Came one. in fourth behind Dungeons and Dragons, John Wick 4 and Scream 6 at the box office right. in April. I also really like their VidAngel project. It's really cool. Are you familiar with that project? No. I I know the fellow who started VidAngel. We spoke at a conference together. This is back before it was mainstream um but i didn't know that the two of them are, are collaborating i think vid angel and angel studios are are okay. the same company oh um but vid angel is a really cool thing it's basically it, if if you have a streaming service you connect that streaming service to your vid angel account and then you can tell vid angel what you don't want to see and what you're watching mm. and it'll skip those scenes for you that's yeah. interesting yeah i mean i'm gonna be honest like i deal with dark stuff in my books but there's stuff I can't tolerate. Dude. Like there's stuff that I've heard stories that I can't repeat even off camera. They've they were so traumatizing to yeah. hear. Yeah. I mean, the first the first ten minutes of Sound of Freedom, like I was definitely triggered. I was gonna but, ask you that. Yeah. Oh, I did ask you that before the show, given yeah. your past. Yeah, it was hard to take. Like I was sweating. I you know, and and I've done a lot of work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I've had a, had a lot of therapy, like a lot of therapy. Um, and a lot of healing from the Lord, but it was In- hard. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, do us a favor, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the video, like, and subscribe.